I was a freshman in high school. Particularly Julie. What made you start Julie? I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say peer pressure. But it was peer pressure in a sense that I felt like I needed to like fit in because everyone else did it. Literally I thought it literally I thought it was fucking cool. So I did it and then I got addicted. And now it's like I mean yeah, I cut it. There's like moments in life where like people that really care about you tell you to cut back. And you do cut back but then something pulls you back into it. Yeah. It's this shit. It's all all this right here. Look at all of it around you. You see all that? My name's Lida. Um, I started using nicotine like around sophomore year, like freshman year, but I didn't like really start using it until junior year of high school. It made me feel good. <laughs> like I just I liked the way that like a buzz felt, but then like when I actually started using it, you don't get buzzed anymore. So that was like why I was drawn to it, but then it was very misleading because like when you become a smoker or like someone that vapes, you don't really buzz unless it's like in the morning or after you haven't um, smoked in a while. <laughs> Definitely uh, very addicted. <laughs> How has your nicotine addiction affected you physically or mentally? Well, um, a bitch coughed up blood recently. Um, I've been do like consistently smoking now for like two years. And like when I got to college, I started getting this really bad cough and I quit for a minute. And then my cough got worse because that's what happens like when you quit your like lungs like try to get the mucus out but then I started like I started back and then I started coughing up blood and I went to the doctor and they basically said that like I have to stop or like it's not gonna go away and it's gonna get worse so I'm trying to quit but it's not really working very well what's your favorite jewel pod flavor mint uh, I don't even, I mean it used to be like mango in like high school, but like everyone uses mint here, so yeah, like right. mint. Uh -huh. It's crazy how I much camel crushes. I think of like mango jewel pods as like a treat, you know, like you're treating yourself. It's like this is also fried. Yeah, I don't know. It's like flavorful and it's like yummy, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't smoke jewels. Why don't you cigarettes. smoke jewels? Because I don't know. I don't think it's like. Bitch, you've asked to hit my and jewel many times. I've before. done it. I've done it, but I don't do it regularly. I don't have a favorite flavor, and I don't. I don't like it. Like it's just. I don't know. It's not as satisfying. Or uh, I don't know. It's just not as satisfying. Yeah, and I feel like you're giving your can self cancer regardless. So yeah. it's like I might as well smoke cigarettes. Also, it's just so easy to use a jewel. It's like what's like I like like the action. Of, like part of why I smoke cigarettes is to like have a moment to myself outside of wherever I am. And then just like instead of just being smoke able to a cigarette. In class or whatever. Yeah, and I like you know yeah, I'm not gonna go outside and hit a jewel. I'm not like yeah. I, I used to use those things in class in, in high school. So like, much. And it was it was funny because like we'd like play around and see like how much we could hit it without the teacher noticing. Yeah. yeah. I remember this one time I was in the back of English class. And I just ripped it and I just like blew this huge cloud and just like by the luck of God she did not see it. She was just like incredibly oblivious. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for thanks How long have you been thinking about quitting, Nina? Like four or five packs ago. Mm hmm. drug of choice and I quit them. How'd you quit them? Um, I quit them by... Yeah, that's how I quit tooling. <laughs> building a support system around me of people that 
wanted the best for me, and it took me over three years. <laughs> How does nicotine rush feel to you? Disgusting. Honestly, at this point, it used to give me a head rush, but now it just makes me feel a little nasty. Except when you don't hit it for a few hours, then that shit's bussing. <laughs> How do you feel when you're off nicotine? <laughs> I feel like a dumbass. You're high for like seven seconds. <laughs> you can count it on your fingers. Basically, they told me that uh, my lungs, uh, from the bottom up, like halfway up, um, are clouded, which, so like basically when they took the x-ray, like it looked white, and it's supposed to be like completely black, and so that basically shows like how damaged my lungs are already, um, and so they basically they basically said that like I have to stop or it's just gonna get worse. Um. <laughs>